Today I'm replacing a TC amp chip on a 3D printer. Uh, one of my friends believes that it's uh, failed on him, so I thought we'd get in, get it replaced, and see if it makes a difference. Thought I'd record the process along the way, um, show it to you guys, see if it helps at all. Um, feel free to chuck anything in the comments if you want me to explain anything any better, do a video on anything a bit clearer, pretty much anything. Um, if you want to pick on what I do, I'm cool with that. Uh, aside from that, uh, like and subscribe definitely supports the channel, please. Um, and uh, other than that, let's get into it. Cheers. Okay, so we'll start by applying the flux paste. And that just helps the heat transfer through and heat the solder joints evenly. As you can see, I'm just trying to spread that evenly across the whole chip. I even put that across the top of the chip as well. Just find the heat disperses nice and evenly. Next, um, I'm going to get the uh, solder. Add some of that to each pin. I just find the low melt solder makes it easier to do these sort of jobs. Sometimes uh, the solder requires a high temperature to melt, which makes reflowing quite difficult. So I just add my own solder and uh, definitely uh, makes it easier. Right, then uh, add some more flux. You can never go too uh, too much on the flux. We get some tweezers. Got the hair gu hot air gun set to about 380 degrees Celsius. As you can see, we just heat that slight bit of pressure, pulling back on the tweezers. Not much at all, though. You can just see the uh, chip will release in just a second. Just pops off the board like that. And then we're going to tidy, tidy up the uh, solder joints afterwards. As you can see that's the uh, chip we've just removed. Not a very clear shot I'm sorry. Just using the uh, soldering iron here. Uh, you can add flux paste but I had enough flux left over on the board still to do what I needed to do. This find that gives you those nice pristine solder joints to work with again to attach the uh, new IC chip. Just wipe my soldering iron off in between each uh, use there. Keep it nice and clean. We don't want any contaminants on the new joints. Now just got some tissue paper with some isopropyl alcohol give the area cleaner, and get rid of any excess splash, uh, flux and uh, contaminants that we've got there. Now we'll uh, add some more flux, that'll just help the uh, solder to flow evenly onto the new pins of the uh, new IC chip. Gives us a nice foam connection. As you can see, we just line the chip up now. Make sure everything's uh, aligned correctly. We just apply a tiny little bit of force with the tweezers on top, try not to move that chip. And then uh, slightly lower heat with the hot air gun, around 350. And as you can see, just heating that until the uh, solder decides to reflow again. You can see the joints go nice and shiny and I'm just going to hold that there until the solder decides to set. And let that go and uh, now we can remove the captain tape that was protecting all the other components from any excess heat during the job. As you can see there's quite a bit of um, flux and residue left over so we'll clean that up with isopropyl alcohol and a tissue again. Just be careful with the tissue that can leave little burrs of tissue left over. As you can see I've got a bit there and make sure to clean that up and then uh, give it another spray and use a toothbrush. 
and give it a light scrub as well. I just find that gets rid of any um, leftover residue left over from the flux. But otherwise, uh, I find that's um, pretty good there. And uh, this one's ready for testing now. Thanks for watching.